If you ask anyone who owns an Airstream about one of the design flaws, they're gonna tell you it's probably the windows. They get stuck a lot, like almost every time you pull out the camper, or at least after it's been in storage for a little while. So today I'm gonna to show you how you keep your windows from getting stuck, or at least make it a lot easier to open. And it's all gonna be surrounded around three tools, a little scraper, a paper towel, and some special aerospace protectant lubricant. Stay with us. So a lot of people complain about the Airstream windows because they get stuck. The glass sticks to the little black gasket as they heat up. Um, and that often happens when it's in storage. And I'll show you what I mean here. I have no idea if this window is gonna be sticky right now, but we're gonna go ahead and unlock it. And then I'm gonna try to pop it open here. And it takes a little bit of an effort. And if you find that it's too difficult to open, this is where you're gonna need a second person. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna go on the outside and Leslie's gonna help me by just kind of applying a little bit of pressure to the window handles while I take this guy, this little scraper, and just kind of work my way around the outside of the window. So I'm gonna show you how we do that and then I'm gonna show you how you can keep this from happening at least as often. I'm standing on the outside of my Airstream, uh, outside of the window we were just looking at, and Leslie's now on the inside, and she's gonna apply a little pressure as if she's trying to open the window. And I'm going to use this little scraper just to give her a little bit of an assistance and also kind of try to break the seal, for lack of a better term, where this window's stuck. So I'm sliding my scraper here, and you can kind of already hear that window, and that's it. That's all it really took. Now, if it's stuck really bad, you may have to actually run the scraper all the way around the outside of the window and you never want to put too much pressure because you could end up shattering the glass. It's never happened to us, but uh, it is a concern and something you want to be very delicate with. So make sure you have one of these. And also we'll talk now about what you can do to prevent that window from sticking at least as much in the future. So this stuff, you can find it on Amazon. Some people say it doesn't work. I've had a lot of luck with it. It is aerospace protectant and you just spray a little bit on your paper towel and then you go ahead and I just kind of clean these gaskets. Just about every time I'm out, I usually do this. Um, so if I like pull the camper out of storage and I'm going on a trip or if I'm washing the camper, I just like to kind of keep these ga gaskets really moist. And this is what prevents it from sticking usually. And again, you may still have some sticking, but it's gonna drastically reduce this. When I first got this camper, I found that they were stuck really bad. And I, I don't know if the previous owner just maybe didn't maintain these quite as well, or maybe know about this particular lubricant. But that's that, that's all you have to do. And you're gonna be in much better shape when it comes to opening and closing Airstream windows. One other product you may wanna consider that some people use, they're called Airstream window poppers. If you Google it, you may find those. But what it does is it applies a little pressure between the frame and the window and kind of makes the windows pop out a little bit easier and prevents them from getting stuck. We've never used them, the lubricants worked for us. So if you wanna learn more about those, just go ahead and Google that. Uh, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up, like button, and uh, don't forget to subscribe as well. Thanks for watching. Thank you.